Do you believe in magic? I do. Well, at least a certain kind of magic. Or in this case, the promise of something magical that could happen if we all wish together. Want to know what kind of magic? Well, actually, it's a special kind, but it's inside of all of us, buried deep in the recesses of our brains, and yet, somehow still just right below the surface. The magic of the past, the magic of our childhoods, brought back to life, the memories, and the feelings that go along with those memories, with all the security and warmth that they bring, filling us up and satisfying us, like warm comfort food to the soul. What if we really could, somehow, wave a wand and bring those memories back to life? And what if it wasn't just one serving of comfort food, but rather a veritable banquet that you could feast at over and over again? I want to walk you through an idea that's been brewing in the back of my mind for several years now. An idea that really excites me. And from what I know about you, my audience, who are huge fans of these shows and these homes, I think it'll excite you too. Imagine, imagine a theme park, but not just the typical theme park, not one with carnival rides and water slides, but one that's a little more up our alley. A theme park arranged like a city and not just any city, but a city that's been plucked out of the past. All of the blocks would be filled with our favorite TV and movie homes. The very homes that trigger those nostalgic memories we've been talking about, that transport you back in time in the blink of an eye, like a cinematic time machine. And when you navigate those streets, it won't just be on a tour bus on a studio lot, leaning past the other passengers trying to snap a picture. You would actually be walking those sidewalks on your own, at your pace, wandering in and out of those homes, leisurely, as a welcome, invited guest, like a neighbor. You could pop in the back door of Rob and Laura's house, just like Millie used to. Or come in the back way of Lucy's apartment, like Fred and Ethel. Or you could go walking right into Mary's apartment, unannounced, like Rhoda. Or even be sneaky and peek in the windows of the bewitched house, like Gladys Kravitz. How about tossing a football in the backyard at the Brady home? all on your own timetable. Spending as much time as you want in the Petri's living room. Inspecting Samantha Stevens' kitchen to your heart's delight. Stopping for a picture on that iconic Brady staircase. Lounging in those same rooms that you dreamed of living in as a child. You could even walk the hallways of the Munsters' home. And when all that walking works up your appetite, find a familiar restaurant or cafe. Maybe a burger and a thick shake from Arnold's, or a pie baked by Aunt Bee. Stay as long as you want. Chat with your fellow time travelers who are now just regular town folk like you. Time moved more slowly back then. It will for you here, too. Browse through the stores. Drop in at Ellie's Pharmacy and order an ice cream cone. Or get a haircut at Floyd's Barbershop. Or grab a bottle of pop down at Gomer's Gas Station. Ride a vintage bicycle through the park, past the bandstand, maybe even to Opie's Fishing Hole. Perhaps you'll want to extend your visit Stay for a day or two. Well, just check in with your family at the Shady Rest Hotel or at the Inn from White Christmas. Visit the gift shops, buy memorabilia from your favorite shows, 
like the iconic Brady Bunch horse or the I Dream of Jeannie bottle or detailed floor plans of the homes. Visit at Christmas time with the homes decked out like a Hallmark movie. With a huge Christmas tree in the middle of the town square, decorations hanging in the streets and in the shops, hot cocoa stands and sidewalk vendors selling roasted chestnuts. Schedule your visit during the yearly TV con, where you get to meet the actors and listen to their anecdotes, take pictures with them, and get answers to the questions you've always longed to ask. So, how does it all sound? Is it possible that my daydream is your daydream too? I believe in this kind of magic, and the responses I get from my viewers make me think that you do too. What if, what if, we all tried to wave that wand together and see if that kind of magic could actually be brought to life? It really is magic we're talking about, nostalgia, the kind of magic that transports us back in time to a simpler, more peaceful time. The kind of magic that warms our hearts and spirits and somehow makes us want to be better people. Listen to these heart-stirring words from the movie Field of Dreams. People will come. They'll come for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll be as innocent as children longing for the past. They'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. It's money they have, it's peace they lack. It will be as though they dipped themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick they'll have to brush them away from their faces. People will come. People will most definitely come. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, to paraphrase another famous movie line, if you've come with me this far, maybe you'll come a bit further. Because maybe there's a path forward that doesn't require a magic wand. I wrote and suggested this exact idea to various HGTV executives and production companies. Unfortunately, I never heard back from them, but to be honest, I didn't really expect a response. But then, several months ago, I posted this idea to my Instagram account, and look how HGTV responded. Here's how I think you can make this happen. Think about it. They recreated the Brady Bunch home, and you saw the response that got. It was phenomenal. It struck a chord with the public like nothing else that they've done in years. It hit at our memories. It hit at nostalgia. However, unfortunately, what we all really wanted, to be able to actually tour that home ourselves, couldn't happen because it was in a residential neighborhood. But what if, what if they bought up a lot of land somewhere with lots of open space where permits are easier to obtain and the weather is temperate year round? Maybe somewhere like Waco, Texas, which is already a hot spot for their target audience. They could repeat the same process they did with the Brady Bunch home. They could turn the construction into episodes, the construction of each and every one of these TV and movie homes, with the previous cast members involved whenever possible. And then rinse and repeat with one home after another until an entire TV and movie city is built. Would you attend a theme park like that, with memories so thick that you have to brush them away from your face? If they built it, would you come? Then here's what I need you to do. Go to the link below and click on it. It'll take you to my Instagram account where you'll find a post about this very proposal. Simply leave hashtag HDTV in the comments below that post. It's that simple. I'll take care of the rest. If enough people jump on board, they will get a clear message as to the interest brewing out here. Let's make this happen. If they build it, I know you'll come, I'll come, we'll all come. I'll meet you there. Until then, see you next time on Behind the Scenes.